Fact 10. Water world around a black hole. In 2023, scientists discovered the largest and most distant reservoir of water vapor ever detected, surrounding a quasar 12 billion light years away. For those who don't know, the answer to the question of what quasars are. Quasars are gigantic black holes at the center of galaxies. The most important point of this discovery is that it adds to the evidence that water formed early in the history of the universe and shows that water existed when the universe was only 1.6 billion years old. It also shows that water is widely present, although it is not directly related to black holes. If we compare the water in this quasar with the water on Earth, the water mass of the quasar is 140 trillion times greater than the total of all the oceans of the Earth. Fact 9. Glass forest on the moon. There is a forest on the moon. Although not made of trees, the Chinese lunar rover U-22 discovered shards of glass that resembled pale green bamboo forests during its explorations of the von Karman crater on the far side of the moon. These structures, formed as a result of ancient volcanic eruptions, offer clues about the formation and history of the moon. Fact 8. Age of the Milky Way Galaxy the Milky Way galaxy is estimated to be approximately 13.6 billion years old. This age makes it one of the oldest galaxies in the observable universe, having formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang event. The fact that the Milky Way galaxy is so old means it interacts a lot with other celestial bodies, making the S-shaped spiral and flat galaxy shape you see in most space documentaries inaccurate. The Milky Way is actually distorted probably due to interactions with neighboring galaxies. This adds a dynamic touch to its already impressive structure. Additionally, different parts of the Milky Way may have formed at different times. For example, the central bulge is believed to be older than the disk that houses our solar system. Fact 7. The celestial body farthest from Earth. We know that the further you look in space, the further into the past you actually travel, right? So if I see an object that is 13 billion light years away, I see what that object looked like 13 billion years ago. If I look at the farthest object from Earth, we can discover the first star formations in the universe and other theoretical space objects. That's why the galaxy called HD1, which is the farthest object from Earth and is estimated to be 13.5 billion light years away, is very important for the history of the universe. This galaxy came into existence just 330 million years after the Big Bang, allowing us to look back in time and see the universe in its infancy. This time period corresponds to the period before the first stars and galaxies appeared, known as the Cosmic Dark Ages. Examining HD, one may offer clues about how light emerges and penetrates the initial darkness. For example, this galaxy is unusually bright. Despite its enormous distance, the HD one looks surprisingly bright in ultraviolet light. This suggests high energy processes occurring in the young galaxy and possibly points to the formation of the first stars or a supermassive black hole. These hypothetical first generation stars, composed entirely of hydrogen and helium, have not yet been directly observed. However, the properties of HD one match predictions for galaxies hosting such stars, raising exciting possibilities for further investigation. Fact six, Earth-like exoplanet, Proxima b, Proxima b is a fascinating super-Earth orbiting the nearby red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, making it the closest potentially habitable exoplanet to our solar system at just 4.2 light years away. Proxima b is about 1.3 times the mass of Earth, which puts it in the super-Earth category, but still potentially falls into the realm of rocky planets. This raises the question of whether it could provide a solid surface for life to emerge. Although the star of this super-Earth, Proxima Centauri, is a much cooler and smaller star than our Sun, Proxima b orbits within its star's habitable zone, where liquid water could potentially exist on its surface. This makes it a prime candidate for hosting life-sustaining conditions. However, this exoplanet is tidally locked. This means that one side is permanently facing the star, while the other side is constantly facing darkness, causing extreme temperature differences on its surface, creating a harsh environment for most life forms as we know them. Several planned missions, such as the European Extremely Large Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope, could potentially collect more information about Proxima b's atmosphere and surface conditions. Fact 5. The first space discoveries were made by Galileo Galilei in 1609 with the use of a telescope. 
Galileo made many discoveries in the solar system and beyond. At that time and in subsequent centuries, the moons of the Moon, the phases of Venus, the main moons of Jupiter and Saturn, the rings of Saturn, many comets, asteroids, the new planets Uranus and Neptune, and many more moons were discovered. However, before Galileo, the first telescope was invented by a glasses maker named Hans Lippershe in the Netherlands in 1608. Fact 4. Saturn's Hexagonal Storm Saturn's hexagonal storm is truly a wonder of the solar system, and the most interesting fact about it is that it is larger than the diameter of the Earth, with a massive width of 32,000 kilometers. I mean, it's hard to even imagine this. It's a storm bigger than the world. And another interesting fact is that, unlike hurricanes around the world, this storm rotates clockwise. This hexagonal storm reaches speeds of 320 kilometers per hour, and recent findings show that high-speed winds extend up to 5,000 kilometers below cloud tops, indicating a connection with deeper atmospheric layers. So you may be asking, why hexagon? And why do hexagonal storms form only at Jupiter's North Pole? Scientists have not been able to definitively decipher the code of this formation. Possibilities include interactions with smaller cyclones, latitudinal wind speed differences, and even deeper internal processes. Fact 3. One day on Venus. Often referred to as Earth's evil twin, Venus rotates incredibly slowly, taking 243 Earth days to complete one revolution on its axis. This means that a day on Venus is longer than its year. Additionally, Venus rotates in the opposite direction compared to Earth and most other planets, so the Sun actually rises in the west and sets in the east on Venus. Apart from this, I would like to add that although Venus is farther from the Sun than Mercury, it has the title of the hottest planet in our solar system. The surface temperature averages a scorching 462 degree C, 864 degree F, hot enough to melt lead. This is due to the runaway greenhouse effect caused by the thick carbon dioxide atmosphere. And this shows us how dangerous climate change in the world is. Fact two, red storm on Jupiter. You may have seen the great red spot-shaped storm on Jupiter. As I mentioned in fact two, there are many storms on Jupiter. But why is this storm red? It's not actually red at all. Although its name suggests a fiery hue, the great red spot appears more like a coppery orange or brick red in most observations. The exact cause of its color remains a mystery, thought to be influenced by complex chemical interactions within the storm. Scientists believe that the red color may be caused by phosphorus, sulfur, and other compounds in Jupiter's atmosphere reacting with sunlight. Other interesting space facts. This storm has been observed for at least 350 years, possibly longer, making it one of the longest lasting storms in the solar system. In addition, the size of the storm is large enough to fit the world inside. Fact one. Fluid-filled canyons on Jupiter's moon, Titan. Beneath Titan's thick, hazy atmosphere lies a network of fascinating geological features. Discovered by NASA's Cassini mission, these features offer a glimpse of a unique world in our solar system. Unlike Earth's canyons carved by flowing water, these canyons on Titan are filled with liquid methane and ethane the moon's most abundant hydrocarbons. This creates a truly alien landscape, where rivers and lakes are not composed of water, but instead resemble our oil reserves. These hydrocarbons flow much slower than water due to their lower viscosity. This means the canyons evolved much more slowly than those on Earth, and could offer potential clues to long-term geological processes on Titan. Observations show that the canyons are hundreds of meters deep and have steep, sometimes, almost vertical walls. This suggests a rapid erosion process, possibly caused by seasonal changes in Titan's atmosphere. The canyons form a vast network, stretching for hundreds of kilometers, branching off from a larger river-like area known as the Vid Flumina. This indicates the existence of a complex hydrological system operating on Titan's surface. Despite extensive research, the source of the liquid hydrocarbons filling the canyons remains a mystery. Some theories suggest they flow from internal reservoirs, while others point to condensation sensation from the atmosphere. And while it's unlikely to host life as we know it, the presence of liquid on Titan raises intriguing questions about the possibility of alternative life forms adapted to such exotic environments. Scientists hope that future missions to Titan, such as NASA's Dragonfly Lander, will shed light on these mysteries. By directly studying canyons and their composition, we can unlock secrets about Titan's geological history, atmospheric processes, and the potential for exotic life in alien environments. We have come to the end of the most interesting space discoveries and space facts video. Do you want more space documentaries or this kind of space exploration and space facts video? You can write it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.